All right, welcome to class. Uh, hello, everybody. I think it's time for story time. My name is Nathan MacArthur. I'm a rural a teacher in rural Alaska. A rural teacher in rural no, I'm a generalist teacher in rural Alaska, and I record a video every Friday for my classes. All my students that have known me for a long time love my story times, so I'm now recording them for their documentation, I guess, so they can watch them from wherever they're at in the world. I had a lot of comments last week. Holy cow. Thank you, uh, Joseph Perez, all those comments, all those good memories. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I laughed really hard when I read your comments, so thank you. Um, but the winner this week has got to be the story of how I met my wife. Two weeks in a row that's been requested. So... Um, I appreciate everyone watching the videos and enjoying this time together. It's really made, uh, it makes my day. I love, this makes my week a little better. So I'm looking forward to Friday. Um, I hope you are too. So the story of how my wife has to be done with a disclaimer. We have to have a little warning at the beginning. Um, this is my version of the story. My wife has her version. Um, and so if you ever catch her, you can ask her about her version of the story. But this is my version. Um... And they're very, very similar but different. They, they everyone has two perspectives. There's two sides of every story. This is my side, the correct side. No, the my side. <laughs> um, so when I when I met my wife, I was 21 years old. I just gotten back from my two year long church mission, and so it'd been a long time since I'd been back in Utah. And a really good friend of mine from high school invited me over to a girl's apartment. And this is my first time in like the college scene. So I didn't even know there was such a thing as an apartment just full of girls. And I was like, uh, yeah, let's do this thing. So he invites me over, we're gonna watch a movie. And so I'm all sorts of excited. We go over there and I go in the apartment and we're sitting there watching a the movie and a whole apartment full of girls. And I just, it just, the connection wasn't there. You know, I just, they weren't my type. They had great personalities. I mean, you, you take your pick, but I just, I just wasn't interested in any of the girls in the apartment. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't have to be interested in every girl I meet. So um, I'm sitting there and I'm watching this movie that I'd already seen um, and bored out of my mind, basically. Kind of twiddling my thumbs a little bit. And so out of, out of nowhere, I see this beautiful woman walk out from the side of the, the, my eye and go into the kitchen. And I look up, just, I just catch a quick glimpse of her. And she goes in the kitchen, and I just look to everybody. I was like, um, I'm thirsty. <laughs> and I got up, and I left, and I walk into the kitchen, and I walk up to this, this beautiful woman, just like, um, do you guys have any water? And she looks at me just, yeah, we have water. And I was like, stupid! <laughs> So I thought, okay, um, think quick, right? Think quick, okay, uh, do you guys have any glasses? Yeah, we have glasses. And so she walks over and gets me a glass and fills it with water, and it takes like half a second, just, and she like hands me the glass and walks away. And I'm just like, nothing. Like every sense in my brain was telling me to talk more, but it just was gears grinded and it was just bad. It was horrible. And so she walks away, and I'm just like sitting here with my glass of water, I'm not even thirsty, and I'm just like, Ooh, I digress. So I go back to that apartment about once a week and ask her if she wants to do something. You want to do something? You want to go swimming? You want to go hot tubbing? You want to go anything? I would have done anything. And she's just like, no, I'm good. Thanks for the offer, though. For a month. At least once a week, I go and offer to go do something. And one time, one time, she says, maybe. And I'm like, oh, all right, I'll see you over there. I took it as a yes. So I go over and I go to the hot tub, and I'm in the hot tub by myself for as long as I can stand. Probably like a half hour to an hour, just like waiting. She's got to be coming. She's got to be coming. No. So I get up and leave. She stood me up. So... The next week, I go over there again and ask her on a date, and she's like, um, you know what, we're kind of doing this like bowling thing right now, so thanks for the offer, but we're going bowling. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Waiting for that long, awkward pause, you know. And she's like, you guys want to come? And I was like, yeah, we'd love to come. I was with, my, with my, one of my good friends, and I just kind of volunteered to come along. I was like, yeah, we're going, we're going bowling. And he's like, but, but, I was like, we're going bowling. So we go bowling. And I find out that she is on a date. Yeah. Now I'm bowling. 
which I don't even like to do. And she was on a date. So at the cash register, I do a little, like I know a little bit of sign language. And so I use a little bit of it. I think I did like cool or, you know, oh, that's funny or whatever. And so she notices, this, this beautiful girl notices that I do a little sign language. She comes over, she's like, you know sign language? And I was like, yeah, a little. And she's like, oh, cool. And walks away. I was like, yeah, that's my in. I was so excited. I was pumped. And... So we go over to go bowling. Let me see what time we got. Okay, we're good. I right, so we go over to go bowling. And you know the little U-shape uh, bowling eyes? I should probably do it this way, right? U-shape bowling eyes. And so I'm sitting over here, and I'm facing her over here. And, yeah, I'm just super pumped. So I let it go for a little while. We're probably like, you know, fourth, fifth frame in. And we've been sitting there, you know, eyeballing each other a little bit. And so finally I look across the aisle, and I'm just looking at her. And I'm like, do you like him? And her face was awesome. She's just like... And I was like, oh, he likes you? And she's like, and so she was trying to be nice and respectful about it, right? But she was definitely conveying to me that she was not interested in him, which is fine. You don't have to be interested in everybody. So move on. Um, so I, I, I go up and I bowl, ignoring everything that happened. And next time he gets to go, go bowl, I go and sit in his seat right next to her and put my arm around her. I got this. Don't worry about it. And she looks all confused and kind of like, all right. And we talk for a little bit. He comes back from bowling and sees me in his seat and does one of these things where he's like, looking. And I looked up. I was like, can I help you? And he just looks at me and looks at her and like, all right. He didn't, he took the hint. And he went to go sit somewhere else. And all of the seats in the U-shape thing were completely full. He had to go sit in the back at the tables by himself. Poor guy. And so that's how we, we sat. We sat and talked and bowled the whole rest of the night. It was awesome. And about 11.45 comes around and the guy comes up. He's like, you know, it's Saturday night. It's almost Sunday. Um, I was thinking maybe we should go home here soon. And it's like the seventh frame in the middle of our second game. And I'm just like, you don't just up and leave in the middle of a bowling game. You got to finish the game. And so I tell him, like, you know what? If you want to stay and finish the game, I can give you a ride home. Yeah. Kid went home alone. And so I took my wife, I took my future wife home. And that's the uh, official story, uh, stamp of approval. That is the official story of how I met my wife. Um, the next day was Sunday. She sang in a choir and I went to go watch her sing in the choir and I was late. So I missed it. And I tried to play it off like I was there and she totally caught me. And I was like, oh great, there it is, she caught me. Um, that night we went and hung out and uh, we watched a movie or something and in the middle of the movie she's like caught my attention saying something and I looked over and she kissed me and I was like, Poo! done deal, I'm excited, that's fantastic. And so yeah, it was like the second day we'd, we'd officially like talked outside of like from her door to her apartment and she kissed me. So I was like, wow, okay, that worked. And then we, uh, we dated and we got married eventually. It's pretty awesome. Great story. I, I love I love my wife. She's fantastic. Air high five. Um, she's she's right over there. She's giving me the approval of like I need to tell my side of the story. But that'll be another time. Um, so thank you for watching all the way to the end. You guys are awesome. Um, I do want to say to those of you who watch my watch my channel, um, share this video with people that you know that will like it. Um, I don't nobody don't really follows me on Facebook, and I only share this one time on Facebook. So if you share it with people that you think will like it. Um, people who were in my class previously or other teachers or other people that know me, uh, family members, whatever. I'd appreciate it. Share it out there. I just want to make sure my videos get out there for everyone to see and enjoy. Um, not really critical, though. Just uh, hope you enjoy. So, hello from Alaska.